Scott Sakaguchi, three and on the day. Yep. The Beavers three on the day. You're three and on the day. Yep. Uh, they really needed you to step up. Yep. Uh, you guys were were losing three first three matches. You guys lose to uh, Central Michigan. They need you to win. You come out. Yep. You grind one out. It wasn't glorious today. It wasn't. It wasn't probably what you expect every day. But how important is it to grind matches out, win five, four nothing, five nothing? How important is that? Uh, that's big. I mean, you know, that's my style is grinding. You know, those grind matches. You know, but I gotta increase the the point lead a little bit more. You know, it's keeping it too close, giving guys hope. That's uh, you know, it's not good down the line. So, you know, I don't want to wrestle like I'm protecting something. So I gotta go after it a little bit more. You're the most accomplished guy in the team. You're a two-time All-American. Uh, you're climbing that rear, seventh, fifth. I know you don't want to be third this year. We've talked about this that this summer. Yeah. But uh, you know, what do you guys got to do to, you know, you got to beat Minnesota in a couple weeks. You got the yeah. Rodent Rumble. You guys got that one coming up. You're gonna have a tough match with our Danes. Yeah. You know, do you feel pressure being the number one guy in the country? Uh, not right now. You know, like I said, I just I don't really don't want to wrestle like I'm protecting something. I need to just go after it. Rankings aside, like. I try not to worry about the rankings, just keep them out of my mind. I know they're going to go hard, but you got to suck the will out of people, you know? Everybody's going to give you their best now, and you just got to take it from them, you know? I don't know. I think that we just need to be consistent as a team, and, you know, I need to wrestle consistent. It'll all work out. I know there's a lot of talk about Kendrick Maple, you know, moving up, being undefeated and say champ last year. They give Steber an overtime match. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as a result, you kind of get snubbed out of the all-star meet with that super match. How do you feel about that? Uh, it sucks. I definitely want to get invited, but, you know, I understand, you know, they're national, two national champions. I haven't been there yet, so, you know, they get first pick. It's just how it goes. Seeing Maple get beat last week by Bustler of Bloomsburg. Bustler from Bloomsburg goes hard, man. Yeah. He's like the type of guy that you know yeah. you really gotta bring your A game with. Definitely. But uh, seeing that he beats Maple, does that you know, and then it bumps you to number one. But do you see? Does that give you confidence knowing that you know a guy who everybody said was untouchable gets beaten? Does that give you confidence? Tough. I mean, it just shows that anyone can be beat on any day. So you know, I just you gotta be prepared to every single match. And uh, I mean, confidence, yeah, but more just learning from that you know I can't take a match off because that's gonna be bad news that's where you get give up takedowns and give up points give up injuries who knows so just gotta go hard being the leader for the Beavers you know two-time All-American captain you're the guy do you feel pressure with that at all uh, a little bit I mean it's just another day I feel like I'm still part of the team we're a team effort and I don't try and boss anyone around or anything you know people look up to me like today I feel like you know, we lose a couple matches early, and then I need to go in and step up. It's I've always been lead by example more than verbal leader, so I, I feel all right. Just as long as I do what I need to do, then people will follow. Got one of the most dangerous guys in the country tomorrow, Eric Grajales. What's a game plan with a guy like that who can <laughs> he can throw you by looking at you? Yeah. He's so dangerous. I mean, I watched him lose a bizarre match today against yeah. Penn State. You know, a guy like that is so dangerous. What, what's the what's the mentality going into that one? Uh, just grind it out, man. Just wrestle hard, make things happen. Don't be timid. You know, he's a great wrestler. I respect him. But he's beaten you before, hasn't he? Yeah, we're one on one, so I just got to go after it. Yeah, the the rubber match, I guess. Is I the hit. weight cut anything that's a concern for you? No, I mean I'm not a very big guy, so I do all right with the weight, I think. All right, last thing. Tell me about. I'm looking at a fake tooth. I gotta. Yeah. Zoom in. You had it out earlier today. Tell the story about it. Yeah. Uh, Can you just pop it out? Yeah. Does it pop out? Oh, yeah. Pop it. All right. So we got a fake tooth. Tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> tell the story about it. Your mom's not gonna like that. Don't uh. Don't ever wrestle. You know. There, we have weight classes in wrestling for a reason. So wrestling Pasco. You know, weighing about 205. It's not good. But I did throw him. So let that be known. <laughs> but I lost a tooth in the process. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys came back, he came after you, your tooth, and you said it was already root canal yeah. and on a post, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't have, I'm getting a post, they just shaved my other tooth down. Yeah, he ducked me and then uh, he popped it out, but just still got him, so. Alright, yep. you got anything else for me? Uh, go Beavs.